Hello, it's Jen Bengal here from Out of This World Literacy. The last few days I've been talking about teaching vocabulary with intention. If you missed episodes 73 and 74, go back and check them out. Today I'm going to continue our talk about vocabulary by going over the three different types of vocabulary words. This is a really important chat because it breaks down words into a way that makes it easier to understand exactly what types of words we should focus our instruction on. So there's three types of words. The first layer of vocabulary words we call the tier one words. These are basic words, words that students have likely seen before and already use in their conversations. So if you think about an episode 74 yesterday where I talked about the eight shades of understanding a vocabulary word, tier one words are where the students have a really great understanding of those words. They know how to use them not only in isolation, but they can use them in context of reading and writing, and they can also apply them into their own language. These are words like road, sign, left, right, walk. They can use these words over and over and they really don't need a lot of direct instruction on them. The second layer of vocabulary words is what we call tier two words. Tier two words are context words, words that directly impact the meaning of a passage that they're reading or listening to and can often be used in real word world experiences. They often have multiple meanings as well. Words like winding or jealous, intricate, bombarded. These are all tier two words, words that directly affect the context of a passage that they're reading. These are words that we want to focus our instruction on because they have so many layers of understanding and meaning, and they can be used directly to understand a passage. The kids can take ownership over these words and put them in their own reading or writing or listening or speaking. And they're really powerful words for them to just know and understand. So we focus a lot of our instruction on tier two context words. The last layer of vocabulary words that we have are tier three words. Tier three words are genre specific. These are words that are usually used in a specific genre or subject like social studies or science. They're often nonfiction in nature. For example, photosynthesis that we would use to describe something in science doesn't really have a lot of multiple meanings. You don't go around saying, I'm going to have a photosynthesis kind of a day, and it doesn't really get transferred into figurative language. So really tier three words are genre specific, like electrons, equator, atoms, words that you would more than likely teach in your science or social studies content and aren't really necessary that necessarily that applicable to a tier two vocabulary instruction. So tier three words really stick to the content areas. Tier two words are what you would focus on in your vocabulary instruction. And tier one words are those basic words that they likely already have a really good understanding of that you might touch on in a vocabulary instruction, but not need to spend that much time in. I hope this explanation of the three types of words for vocabulary instruction has helped you understand where to focus your daily instruction. If you teach in grades three through six and would like to try a free week of vocabulary instruction that has all the planning done for you and takes just 15 minutes a day to try out, you can do that by visiting www.vocabforfree.com. It's been my pleasure chatting with you today. Know that I'm the biggest fan of the work that you and your students are doing in the classroom. If you'd like more teaching tips, you can check out Out of This World literacy.com. Until next time, you've got this.